Hello guys, my name is Harry K. Greetings to all of you. Welcome to a Foundry of Ideas. I am glad that you're here today. I've got a great show for you. This is my latest video and today I am going to go through the process of using the Epson Expression Photo HD XP15000 printer together with Photoshop and ICC profiles in order to produce really excellent color photos. One can print photos by using these printer's drivers, but taking the process a step further is the way to use this printer in order to print high quality photos. In this video I shall take you through the back streets, so to speak, and I shall show you the steps to follow in order to take advantage of the combined powers of Epson printers, ICC profiles for these printers, and the distinguished and venerated Photoshop. At this juncture, I would like to remind you that calibrating your monitor is a prerequisite of getting the best results possible when you are involved in the world of photography and general image manipulation. It goes without saying that if you have any questions or comments, I shall be very happy to receive them and respond to you as soon as I can. In Photoshop, we have opened the file that we want to work with. Click, File and then Print. See marker 1. In the Layers panel, layer 0, the first layer, you may find that there is a padlock on its right side. If that is the case, it means that the layer is locked. Click that padlock with the cursor to remove it and so to release the layer. See marker 2. Once we have clicked print, a new screen opens. It is headed Photoshop Print Settings. See marker 3. We then move to the printer setup and under printer we select Epson XP15000 series. See marker 4. This selection tells Photoshop which printer we are using. Next, we click on Print Settings, see marker 5, uh, and this triggers the opening of a screen headed Epson XP15000 series properties. Under the main tab, we set the paper source to cassette and the document size to 84210 by 297 millimeters. Here we also set the orientation to landscape. For the paper type we choose photo paper glossy. The color and the quality are set to color and high respectively. The rest of the entries in this screen are self-explanatory. While still in the Epson XP15000 series properties screen, Click the More Options tab, see marker 6. In the section Color Correction, see marker 7, click Custom, see marker 8, and then click Advanced. A new screen opens, and here, under Color Management, select No Color Management Adjustment, see marker 9 as we do not want the printer driver to interfere with the colors the printer produces. Finally, here we click OK twice to exit Epson XP 15000 series properties screen. Here we are back in the Photoshop print settings and under color management, see marker 10, we check to ensure that color handling is set to Photoshop manages color, see marker 11. 
You will note that here the system warns to disable the printer's color management in the print settings dialog box. The document profile may be left as Adobe RGB brackets 1998 close brackets, C marker 15. In the printer profile, select the drop down menu Epson XP 15000 Photo Glossy, C marker 12 as this was our selection in number 5. In the same section, try relative calorimetric or perceptual depending on your own preference, C marker 13. Leave black point compensation ticked, C marker 14. In the position and size, tick and select center and scale to fit media respectively. Back in the uh, Photoshop print settings screen and under position and size, remember to tick center, C marker 1. Under scaled print size, remember to tick the box headed scale to fit media, C marker 2. Now you are ready to proceed with printing, so you can hit the button print and you are off. Before we close, I am going to present you with a number of points that uh, are of interest when using uh, Photoshop and uh, the Epson printer together with ICC profiles. We have now reached the end of this video. And at this stage, I would like to leave you with some notes which you may find of use when using Photoshop, your printer, and ICC profiles. Remember that when you print a photo or an image using your printer or any similar option, you need to have some knowledge about printing so that your final image is presented as you wanted it to be. Photoshop has the ability to send your photo or image to your printer to be printed on paper. A photo has a very set of color tones and it is known as continuous tone image. And here it is important to understand that monitors display images through the use of light. On the other hand, a desktop printer produces an image using inks like dyes or pigment. It follows that an inkjet printer cannot reproduce all the colors that the monitor displays. It is for this reason that a color management system must be employed for the desktop printer to produce acceptable results. At this point I would like to advise you not to convert an RGB image to a CMYK image when printing. Just let it be an RGB image. An inkjet desktop printer is designed to have built-in instructions on how to deal with RGB data. If it has to deal with the CMYK image, the printer will apply certain conversions and this may produce a final print that is not up to your expectations. It is better to work with a monitor that is calibrated to a custom profile, specifically one that will work with your printer as well as the paper you have chosen to print on. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you have picked up some points that will help you with your own work. Thank you for watching my video and for following my channel. I shall see you on my next project and until then stay happy and stay healthy.